Alright you guys, what is up? King of Lightning gonna do Fairy Tale Chapter 258. This chapter, okay, hold on. You know, let me actually do the review because this this okay. So we start off this chapter with a, with actually a nice color page, and apparently this color page is announcing that a fairy tale movie is coming out. So the movie's coming out sometime late 2012. So I'm pretty sure that means that we won't be able to like get it until like mid 2013 that's about the time it should work out because the way it works is that like movies the movies need to come out on DVD and then someone needs to go and translate them and then that's how we see the movies but that being said um so a fairy tale movie is coming on the way it might take like like two two years in order to get so I mean it's whatever though at least it's coming um and then we get into the actual chapter itself and the chapter itself is very Okay, hero. Okay, okay. I I see. I can see where we're going with this a little bit. We start this chapter with basically uh, the council members. Um, what was that guy's name? Oh, uh, Laurel, I think. Like, yeah, like that guy with the glasses and uh, Mest. Uh, they are both like now council members, I think. And they're talking to the old guy. I forgot his name completely. And they're basically talking about how fairy tale came back because apparently. All across the Fiora, it is now known that fairy tale members have returned to the guild. I mean, fairy tale is—they're they're, they're now back. They're now back in action, and you know, people are wondering, okay, so what the fuck's next? You know, and then it basically, first of all, you know, no, no. Basically, the Magic Council members—we can say fuck them because they're not that important. They're really not that important, all right? And then we get into fairy tale, and then apparently fairy tale, because they've been there for two weeks now, apparently, and they've been partying like crazy in order to try and make up for like the lost time of seven years. And the way things are working out right now is that fairy tale is basically is basically like the shittiest gill in all of Fiora, the shittiest gill in all of Fiora. And then Natsu, Natsu's actually really excited um, that <clears throat> he's actually really excited that he's at the bottom because now he wants to work his way up to the top. Which is something I also am, you know, anticipating. You know. But that being said, the top guild in Fiora right now is Sabretooth. I was like, what the fuck? Saber okay, so Sabretooth are the top motherfuckers. And then we get into another scene. Actually, wait, first of all, let me just backtrack, alright? Um, to the Magic Council thing, apparently they were talking about Tartarus, and Tartarus, if you don't remember, Tartarus is the like the last dark guild of like that three section it's like there was Arashian six there was um <clears throat> Gilmore Hart and then there was Tartarus and now uh, and so he was talking about Tartarus actually no I, th I think there might have been a fourth one I'm not too sure but um he, he's talking about Tartarus about something about Tartarus I forgot, I forgot exactly what it was but um and then Natsu and then so they're talking about Sabretooth and then Sabretooth, Sabretooth is, is like the top guild you know and then, um, because apparently they recruited five mages, and then all of a sudden their guild just like spiked. So, Sabretooth, if Fairy Tail do fight them off the gate, then it appears to me that Sabretooth are somewhat legit. Which will, and, and I will get into that later on. And then we see <clears throat> Makarov and Gildarts, they're at the old Fairy Tail guild, the old guild, like that epic castle guild, and then uh, Makarov apparently takes Gildark to this secret underground passage that um, no one has ever known about, so Fairy Tale, no one in Fairy Tale has ever known about this secret underground passage, and then we see um, Makarov does like this weird like thing, he does like, this fucking cross section thing, and then these weird doors open, and all of a sudden there's like a flood of light, and then it's something called Lumen uh, Etole, which, uh, or uh, Etole, whatever, Lumen something. And then it's strange because it's like they're looking at something, but we, we don't see what that something is. And apparently it's Fairy Tale's greatest secret, you know. And then Gildart is like, and then Gildart says, okay, so why are you showing me? And then, and then he's like, because you're the next master of Fairy Tale. I'm like, yes. I'm like, fine. I'm like, yes, dude. I mean, I would prefer if Makarov actually died. But that being said, someone is actually finally stepping up to the position of Master. And Gildart appropriately 
being the next strongest member of Fairy Tale, he is going to be the next master of Fairy Tale, which I think is a you know rip hero. We're actually getting somewhere. Thank you. You know, we're actually progressing along. And then finally, we get into Sabretooth. Okay. Now apparently, we meet two car. We we meet two. Of the five guys who were recruited, I, actually, I, I believe that there are two of the five guys that, that they were recruited, right? I'm assuming that. Because these guys are dragon slayers, okay? This is the Shadow Dragon Rogue and the White Dragon Sting. I was like, what the fuck? And these two were having a conversation about apparently the Shadow Dragon Rogue was the apprentice of Gajil. I was like, what the fuck? And then they were talking about how, like, Natsu, and, like, how, like, they all, like, and how, and how, like, Rogue looked up to Natsu, but, like, Sting might be the apprentice of Natsu. It was, like, this weird little triangle of dragon slayers and apprentices. I'm like, what the fuck is this? And then we see, like, an arrow being sh and so, like, some random guy comes out of nowhere, shoots an arrow, and then Sting catches the arrow midway, eats the arrow, he eats the arrow, spits it right back at it. Spits it right back at the dude. It makes like a little like cannonball, and just and, and, and like blasts the dude. And then it's this weird little scene of how, because I don't know if it's a wood arrow or a fucking steel arrow. If it's a wood arrow, then then this guy is a wood dragon slayer. But he ate the steel tip, so he might be a steel dragon slayer. But then he was talking about how he might be not Sue's apprentice, but Rogue is Gaja's apprentice. So, if Sting is eating steel, then wouldn't Sting be Gaja's apprentice? I'm like, it's, it's this weird little fucking thing. And they have fucking cats. They have fucking cats. They have Exceed. I'm like, what the fuck? I'm like, wow. Um, it's uh, Fro and uh, Lecture? I think his name is Lecture. I'm not too sure. But um, anyway, they have fucking cats. They're more dragon slayers. Um, apprentices of, there's some, it's a fucking square, uh, it's a square of bullshit, okay, I have no idea what's going on between these two and Natsu and Gajio, and then they're talking about how they are not gonna fall behind fucking Wendy, I'm like, okay, so we're gonna find out more about this in depth later on, because it is getting interesting, okay, I didn't think that we'd meet other Dragon Slayers this quick, but we are. And what else? Oh, and um, the next chapter of Fairy Tale is uh, called Sky Dragon uh, Grandine. So we might find out something about Wendy's dragon. Okay. Um. So anyway, that being said, this is actually turning. This actually is taking a turn for the interesting. Okay. We're not. We're not just pulling out bullshit hero. So you are now a step above Kubo. Good job. You have. You have. You have basically, you know, up your game a little bit. If you play this right, because the way, because in my opinion, if Fairy Tail fights Sabretooth off the gate, and then Fairy Tail beats Sabretooth off the gate, and then Fairy Tail is now the number one guild again, that would be a huge disappointment. I want to see Natsu and the guys actually work their way up, you know, taking on other dark guilds. Completing quest and then finally being, you know, on a higher plateau and then fight Sabretooth. That's what I'm. That's what I'm. That's what I'm hoping for. So, but anyway, it was a good chapter. It was a good chapter because we're actually, you know, we're seeing some progress in one way or another, right? Makarov is now, you know, he's no longer master officially, and Guild Arts is now the next master of Fairy Tale. Props to Guild Arts. Uh, movie coming out. Mmm. Other Dragon Slayers, which we don't... It's a cube of bullshit. <laughs> That's what the fuck it is, all right? So we need to find out more about these two individual Dragon Slayers, all right? So I'll see you guys later. Uh, rate, comment, subscribe. King of Lightning, uh, signing off.